Marco with a Vent Answer here to show you how to make these Japanese inspired soji lamps made from foam core and a battery operated light. These make great decorations as well as centerpieces for your next party. Check out the description box below if you want written directions and templates so you can follow along. So let's get to making these. To start off, I'm taking a sheet of black foam core that I just picked up in my local craft store here and I'm cutting it to 12 by 24 inches. This will make our final lantern 12 inches tall and 6 inches wide on each side. I've got a brand new X-Acto blade here and I actually ended up changing my blade throughout this project. It's imperative that your knife is extraordinarily sharp because all of the edges will be seen on this project and we want clean cuts all the way through. The next step is I'm taking a ruler here and scoring the foam core every six inches. I don't want to cut all the way through. I'm just cutting through that top layer of paper and the foam and leaving that back layer of paper intact and that way I can snap those joints and still have an intact shape. Following the template from the description box below, I took a pencil and transferred all of the marks following that template to the foam core, making sure it was extraordinarily accurate as this is what we'll be following to make all of the cuts. This is what it looks like once all the pencil marks are on, and then we're going to start cutting. I took each cut along the pattern within two swipes. This is because I didn't want to bunch up or rip the foam core. If you take too much into a cut or if your blade isn't sharp enough, foam core will, will bunch up and make these little balls and create a really ugly cut um, moving forward. So I made sure I took two light cuts all the way through, and um, this prevents that bunching up from happening. I also took particular care in cutting the corners. I wouldn't cut all the way to the corner. I would stop a little ways out because of the tilt in my hand, and I would turn the blade around and cut the opposite direction. This ensures a square cut on the corner, and you don't get an overlapping cut because this is the outside of the lantern and what will be showing on the face. And I went ahead and just repeated this technique all the way down, cutting the main panel and the feet section for all four sides. From the main piece of foam core, I cut two more squares that were just slightly smaller than six inches. Mine were about a sixteenth less, and that's so that these squares can fit down inside the lantern, as this will be the base and the top of our lantern. I took a piece of scrap foam here that's a little less than six inches as well, and cut quarter inch strips off of it. I needed four for this project. Two of those will be for the top and that will hold that top square piece inside the lantern and two will go on a long side that will help us close up the lantern when we're gluing it. So next take one of those quarter inch strips and put hot glue on it and use the other quarter inch strip as a spacer and this is standing in for that six inch square that we will be putting on later. And this will also make it so that our square will be flush to the top. So put two spacers on, one on one side and then one on the opposite side of the lantern. Uh, if you try to put four on here, you need to make sure that they're shorter, uh, otherwise your lantern won't be able to come together and make a square because they will be too long. So I just opted for two as this was simpler and will be more than enough structure for that square. Following the template, I used a bit of quarter inch washi tape. You can also use pinstriping tape for this. Um, this was what I was able to find locally and I took a couple pieces and this is how I'll attach it on the ends. And then I stretched the tape sticky side up. Now this is the inside of the lantern. Sticky side up and I put a piece of tape across the end and lined it up with my template and pulled the tape taut and attached it to both ends. Now I did all four panels at once as this will make it a lot more consistent, especially on those horizontal lines that stretch all the way across. So when this is taped together, um, it'll have a consistent line all the way around and it won't look wonky. Now, in the intro, I had two lanterns. One lantern, these lines were made of foam core, which is a great option as well, but it took a lot more time to cut out. This was the easier option, so this is why I decided to show you here. The tape goes on really quickly and attaches very nicely to the paper in the next step. I cut some white vellum into five and a half by ten and a half inch strips, but this comes in all different colors and patterns, so choose what works best for your event. I took a hot glue gun and put a bead of glue all the way around each panel, and then grabbing the vellum, laid it on securely. It doesn't have to be super perfect because there's a lot of overhang, just make sure you don't get it on 
the score cut because it won't fold very nicely. And just repeat this on all four panels. Morgan here, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of the subscribers to the Event Answer channel. This project has only been made possible by subscribers like you for encouraging this content. I've been an event planner for more than five years now, and when I first started, it was hard to find information about how to put on an event and how to do it really professionally. And so it's always been my dream to share the knowledge that I've learned over the last couple years with event planners who are just getting started. And this YouTube channel has been a product of that. So I want to thank all of the subscribers to the YouTube channel for being a support to this project. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that red button below and turn on the notification bell. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you're just getting started in the event planning industry and have questions, leave them in the comments below. I want to hear about them and hopefully I can answer some of your questions. If there's projects that you want to see or learn how to do, put them below and I would love to do them for you. So thanks for subscribing and let's get back into it. After I glued on all the paper, I flipped the lantern over and ran my finger over all of the tape lines just to make sure they were adhered really well to the paper. I flipped the lantern back over and then grabbed the 6 inch square um, and put one line of glue on one side and lined it up with the base of the lantern. Now this wasn't the feet, this was the undercut. Um, and this is what will hold the light on the inside. So glue that down and then wait for it to dry before adding another line on the next side and rotating it over. Uh, if it's still wet, hold it steady until it dries because uh, it can get really out of control uh, if you do it too quickly. So go ahead and repeat this on three sides and then once you get to the fourth side you need to pause a moment and take one of those quarter inch strips we cut from earlier and put it on the inside flush with that edge. Um, and I actually ended up putting two here um, you just have to make sure that it's shorter than that ledge piece on the inside. So once those are glued on, go ahead and glue the last side of the square and close up the lantern. Lift this one corner and put hot glue on that inside quarter inch strip. Don't put it on the outside edges, that will show. But glue that in and hold it steady until it dries. And what this inside strip does is it gives us something to glue to, but it also doesn't let light through that corner. Now we're ready to add our battery operated light to the inside. Mine is remote controlled, which is really handy, and I can turn it on and off with it inside the lantern. So take the last piece of six inch square and set it on the supports inside, and there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this project. This has been a lot of fun to create and so simple to add light and serenity to your next event or even around your home. A little bit of foam core and a battery operated light can go a long way in creating that serene atmosphere. If you like this project, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below so you can see lots of other videos in the future. If you want other projects, check out these over here. And we'll see you in the next video.